four months, you've told us your stories of struggle during this pandemic. Thousands relying on that unemployment check, helping get through another week, another month. Money in the future tense is less money than money when you need it. Just getting a little rough trying to take care of my family and survive. The whole coronavirus thing, you know, it's, it's not anything any of us could have predicted. In times like these, every penny counts. When the $600 enhanced unemployment benefit from the federal government expired in late July, families scrambled for what's next. With Congress in a stalemate over the next round of coronavirus funding, President Trump signed an executive order last weekend extending this benefit, but it comes with a twist. What he has done is created a $400 enhanced unemployment benefit that's going to run through the end of this year. Now, here's the caveat. 25% of that needs to come from the state and these other 75% is going to come from the federal government. In other words, $300 would come from the federal government and 100 from the state. North Carolina Republican leaders announced they intend to accept Trump's offer and urged Governor Cooper to as well. The governor responded asking state leaders to increase unemployment benefits on the state level. He also wants the $100 share to come from the state's unemployment trust fund, not the CARES Act, which covers costs directly related to the pandemic. Things like small business aid, education and health care needs. Quite possibly, uh, you know, the difference there is, is that they want to make sure that they don't run out of that relief fund for the pandemic as we're still uh, here in the middle of it. Although the White House predicts a one to two week turnaround on payments, triad financial expert Scott Braddock says don't bank on that. A brace for this may be taking a little bit longer. In Greensboro, Alma McCarty, WFMY News 2.